why don't we uh, dive into some of these biases? Which one should we be most aware about during our like everyday life, going about our everyday life? Which bias should we be most aware about? Uh, to my mind, it's selection bias. And if we're talking about selection bias, it's uh, nothing else that people choose the easiest data they can access or they have access to. So basically, if you want to read something about, I don't know, the last news, hottest topics um, out there, for example, somewhere in Africa, you go on your, I don't know, Instagram or um, f- um, Facebook or whatever, you Google it, but you don't try to get the fuller picture, for example, using some historical data or the development of uh, different, you know, such thing as poverty level or, I don't know, uh, hunger level in, in Africa to understand, is it better right now that it was, or is it like going worse? So for me, uh, yeah, selection bias is <clears throat> definitely one of the most uh, most important that we should be aware of so for example could... oh go ahead for, for for example also um let's take an example uh if i'll ask you like what people think about i don't know joe biden as a president of the mm-hmm. united states uh probably everything that will come up to your mind will be people who posted or who you were speaking to on a social media somewhere. Uh, but the, the biggest problem with it, it's uh, unrepresentative. It's yeah. something people like between 18 and 30 who are extroverts posting daily on their Facebook or on Instagram or on <laughs> other social media. You see it, you think about what they think, but there are a lot of people who are 50, 60, 70, 80 that are not included in this um, sampling and in this representation of the whole population. Yeah. That, that, that's the biggest problem. You choose the most, the, the easiest accessible data out there without touching, you know, these edge cases, these uh, sp- other specific points that are also important for, 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 for the bigger picture of the population. So the selection bias is essentially, it's tempting to just grab the most accessible or like the easiest data. And as an individual, you have to think this is just like one part of the data. Like say, for instance, you Google something, people are most likely looking at the top three things. Are you looking into this other you know, are you going multiple pages deep to find information? Are you going on like, are you looking at like economic statistics and uh, uh, GDP and just like all these other factors or just like whatever's the the top headline or the most uh, sensational kind of story, the juiciest, the, I don't know. Being aware about that is is a good thing to know, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, in some uh, simple cases, it shouldn't be a big problem. But if we are talking about, you know, society development or some very hot topics, some some political topics or geopolitical topics, that's definitely where you have to think about selection bias and maybe do a bit more research than you should have done, uh, like, without knowing um, that there is such a thing as selection bias. And perhaps hold off on having an opinion until you gather more data. Exactly. To process that. Yeah. Exactly. Not like based on the first three, top three results by Googling my question. 